really gets it when it comes to carpal tunnel syndrome. People who work at computers, cut hair, or otherwise work with their hands may think they have it, but many are misguided. There has not been any scientific study that proves that it is people who have these repetitive jobs. The National Institute of Health states many times the pain coming from repetitive motions is actually bursitis or tendonitis. Carpal tunnel is a condition where the nerve that passes through the wrist is compressed. There are nine tendons and one nerve that pass through the carpal tunnel in the wrist and can have conditions that cause increased pressure through the wrist. While it's true desk jockeys aren't prone to get carpal tunnel syndrome, people who perform physical tasks may be at risk. The only scientific evidence we do have is people who deal with vibration in their work, uh, like construction workers who are uh, working with jackhammers. Those people have a proven link between their job and carpal tunnel syndrome. Other groups of people are also predisposed, Amy Saracino among them. It was more just a tingly sensation, not quite like your arms have fallen asleep, just like they're tired. She did have a risk factor, but it had nothing to do with her desk job. Many people who have disease conditions like arthritis, diabetes, women who become pregnant, any disease condition that can cause swelling uh, can cause carpal tunnel syndrome. In Amy's case, it was pregnancy that brought on her carpal tunnel syndrome. Treatment ranges from exercise to injection or if pain persists, surgery. There is endoscopic carpal tunnel, which is done through a scope with an incision across the wrist. And then there's open carpal tunnel. Amy got by with a few simple stretches. You know, do some hand stretches, do some uh, wrist rolls. She's now back at her desk working pain-free. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.